So today we're going to strip the paint, the powder coat. This is the paint, this is the powder coating away from the middle. This is the wing brace and that is the um, fasteners. Also got this reusable, heavy duty, neoprene, chemical resist glove to resist this much chemical. And also you'll need to use the aircraft remover. I had that before to remove the exhaust clip, paint and powder coat. I also got a spray in case I need it. So I still got more than 70% left for the aircraft remover. Should be able to take care of this. Let's get on with it and see how it goes. Of course, before you go, you'll need a trash can standby and the water hose standby in case the acid gets out of control. So I've done this before to get this thing started. It's fairly easy. It just takes time. The only thing I learned from last time is you have to have the correct glove. If without the correct glove, you will burn yourself. It's a very hard acid. So this one is very cool. It's a again, it's what it called neo neoprene, it's reusable, one size fits all, and has the cotton inside, so you can stick your hand in and pull it out without getting sweaty, and you can pull it out later. So you'll need this. Let's put this away. I just realized in order to pick all these things up, I will need the towel to cover this first. Let's do that. Okay, so I duct taped. I put the cloth in there, duct taped it, because I'm going to grab the parts while my glove is acid on it. Okay, so first thing first, let's go ahead and dump acid in here. A significant amount, and that will do for now. Okay, and go ahead, transfer that. I start with the biggest part, this. Really soak this in. Let's look at the glove. Okay, the glove is not, doesn't have bubble. That's good. So, make sure you get the correct glove that doesn't bubble up. Get all the acid in there, between the crannies, the holes, everything in there. It's looking pretty good. So I went ahead and filled up a bucket of water. So I'm going to wash my glove inside of it. At least I can, that will allow me to get the hand back into the glove and do other stuff. You can see I didn't have to do much, and the metal is already stripping. It takes a little time, but it will work. It is sailing. Anyways, it's uh, acid so far is treating this fairly well. It's taking out all the, literally all the parts away from the metal. Almost 100%. Just takes a little time to Get the scrape off.
fell on my skin. It really burns. I'll take this off and go wash it right away. <laughs> okay, that was a little dangerous. This thing got on my skin. It burns like it burns like hard acid. So I'm going to throw all this away and start over with a new glove and hopefully we can clean this up. I'm going to stop the camera and clean this up and you'll see the result. So this is the end result. Dried and rinsed. The only thing is this it's not paint. I believe it's, they didn't come off, not even slightly. So I believe this is anodized black. This is literally metal. It's metal paint. So the aircraft remover won't be able to take it off. And I, you see inside here, I couldn't get the scrape off. They're already uh, off. I just need to get something in there and get it off. So I got a few of this Dremel stuff. And see if I can get it in there and clean it out. So I got a Dremel head, put it on, see if I can get this cleaned out. Okay, finally done. I believe this is aluminum because I'm using the diamond steel drill sander thing and the metal is harder than this. I believe this is aluminum. Could be steel. I have to take to uh, the machine shop to see if it's aluminum or steel. But it's ready for powder coat. I will powder coat this. On top of that, I will make a new brace for the APR. And this is the Ivan Tappy brace. Thanks for watching and catch you again in the next video.